but Bonito is always a really good too. I like Bonito too. He's been also making some really great clips too. Yeah, he absolutely thrashed me. He used me as a warm up uh, <laughs> for this, and I, I think there were several two stocks in there. So, um, you yeah. know, I've I've had prouder moments, shall we say? <laughs> well, this one will definitely be one for the clips. One at least one clip and at least one game each per game, probably. I'll be excited to go ahead and see it. If nothing else. Look at that friendly fist bump. But there's nothing going to be friendly about this game. No, indeed. It's going to be a grudge match from start to finish. <laughs> no, we both, both players are definitely... De Bonito is really technical, very stylish with his combos, but so is Master. He goes ahead and continues his combos really well, too. So I'm excited to go ahead and see who can extend a combo really well. I believe we got PS2 to begin this one as we get the thumbs up, so... Master on his extensions versus Diddy getting that banana on the platforms. Who uses their character to the fullest? Yes, I know that. As the, as the both players get to go. Already getting started it up. Benito trying to go ahead and find his hit. Finds banana. Master not being able to quite get a hit quite yet, but he's working his spacing. Gets the neutral. Finds his way in there and go ahead and put two tornadoes to get work. Ooh, Bonito already putting on some percentage too. Couple of ladders. Banana already back in hand. Now he loses it. Finding his way for it. Almost tried for the grab, but not getting hit with by it. Good up air strings to Nair. Up air. Uh -oh. Uppy! That's death already! Wow, 30 seconds. Crazy. Laddered off the top and taking advantage of those PS2 platforms. Master establishing dominance early in this one. I mean, all it was was one up air that went ahead and just got started off of. Like I said, that combo game is always insane. Both players were staring each other down this deal for a second. But Master always willing to go ahead and have the confidence to go ahead and pull the trigger just slightly first. Yeah, Benito not to be outdone. Diddy thrives with banana throw out of shield, but when you are Mario, you have so many save variables, that back air being minus two especially, that makes it difficult to judge when you can even go for that in the first place. Ooh, and he reflects it to him, and he gets him with the forward smash. Master going up two stocks. Already incredible first game getting it started with that. I didn't even realize he already had that much percent on him. It's, it's not just the percent. Master's F smash, very, very strong if you manage to get the sweet spot. <laughs> It's absolutely devastating. We've been losing to this man for years. Literally years. And the up smash there. Bonito going to go ahead and find his first stock off of Master. Off of that down tilt. A great conversion. And into things with a banana down air. Ooh, this is a fun string. You like that? It's only 35%, but it was fun to watch. Ooh, you know, I'm able to parry those last hits. I like that. It's the, it's the chip. It's kind of like Monkey Monday. It's close to it. Oh, went for it all there with that landing fair. He wanted it. You can see, I like the banana to that savage down air. It is so satisfying to watch. Again, another one. I love it. Trying to get the clap into the, any kind of aerial afterwards. Go ahead and size me back onto it. Puts the banana on the screen. He's going to get flooded off the side, though. Barrels gets back to the stage. Up smash. And now they're both down to the final stock. Bonito pulling the swing to actually make that comeback. Is it possible? Not out of the question. Landing there, but just outranges that back air. Finds the crab. He's putting on the percent. This is getting a little bit dangerous for Master. You can see he wants that forward air to, for the kill, though. But he gets the up air. He's willing to go ahead and settle for any other ways he can look for it. Tries for the up smash. Not able to quite get it. Yeah, it's starting to get really tense, actually. It's dangerous. You were just saying that didn't have much lag at all, and Master Mario going to clutch it out with that back air. Game one in the books already. Yeah, that's such a scary situation for Benito because you already know he's throwing out two in a single short hop. Even if you drop shield or you get that parry, still that 50-50, whether he rolls out the corner or gets in, into a situation where even a back throw might be very close to killing. And I think he actually was, maybe he could have been trying to parry it too. Even so, you know, it's so safe that you can't get any direct punish. You know, up smash is fast enough, but if Master spaces it well enough, who knows? Sometimes it's also just a timing thing. He could have actually decided to not throw any back air. I've seen him where people expect the back air, he doesn't do it, and then he goes for a grab instead. Because mm -hmm. it's that kind of fear that he can go ahead and put something. And going up one game definitely puts the pressure on Bonito. <laughs> and he goes ahead and gets the banana right back in his face. I didn't expect that. Sorry, to me to laugh. On to Northern Cave for game two. And this time with the platforms being all the way towards the ledge, that's sort of a double-edged sword for Mask because he knows that when Benito has the banana there, that's his territory, but 
there's some great room for extensions too. Absolutely, but he's already like putting on some really good strategy. The savage down smash into down air. Great combo with it. Gets him, you know, after that juggle, it's 44%. That's really nice. And still pouring it on. Oh! Good four smash out there. Master Mario going up already on the first stock there. He took it, he took it within 30 seconds last game, too. Asta has a conversion rate on those smash attacks like no other Mario I've ever seen. F smash in particular. It's just his move when you don't expect it. Oh, he wanted to get off the stage and throw another forward air. You can see he wanted it. But he has to go ahead. He's getting the ladder. He just misses with it. Bonito's chance to capitalize. Not able to find it. Crosses up with back at this time, but runs straight into the up smash. Good raw up smash, but not able to kill quite yet. Bonito, can I have to go ahead and find something else that's beautiful? Gets good back here from that master. Has him off the stage. Gets him with the fireball. Oh, the barrels exploded like that. That was crazy, actually. Really good, interesting spacing, but it just didn't work out for him. Master Mario going to go up two stocks. Yeah, an uncharacteristic miss from Benito on the legend. Master able to use down air as a combo breaker. Good down air again. I love that. Such a savage down air. I know I ain't saying that just because he's the monkey. Monkeys don't always have to be savage. <laughs> but geez, Master just going ahead crossing that shield left and right. It just seems like he's just moving around him. That movement is actually already pretty crazy. Gets him off the stage with the flood. He has the banana. Already getting a little bit tense. You already know that at some point there's going to be that last hit scenario. It feels like it's going to be really hard, nigh impossible for Bonito to go ahead and try to turn this around. But of course, every player has to go ahead and play, try to learn, keep trying with their best with it. That's what makes every single Smash Fighter at their best. And another fake approach. This time a real approach with the grab. And the up smash is going to clean up Master Mario. Three stocking Bonito. That's, that's, there's nothing more to say. That was just clinical. Chef's kiss.